Just a really quick announcement before we get going. Our popular Basics 2020 learning package update has been released. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a Revit template, and an exercise project. Basics is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. Download the package at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. There are two types of columns in Revit. Structural columns and architectural columns. Let's explore the difference between the two. First, structural columns. This type is used to create the real columns that are actually going to be supporting a building. They are used by structural engineers and by architects. This type of columns is going to be used in most projects. In this example, we create a few structural columns using the rectangular concrete family. Architectural columns. This type of columns can be helpful, but they are not as commonly used as structural columns. There are two different ways to use this type. The first way is to create decorative column elements. In this example, you can see that we have a decorative type that can be used around the actual structural column. The second way to use architectural column is to create a wall box out. If you use standard rectangular type, you can see that the column merges with the wall. If you switch the detail level of the view to fine, you can see that the column material will automatically mimic the surrounding wall materials. The gypsum boards will follow the column perimeter. You can add an actual structural column inside the architectural box out. Now let's add a structural column family to your project. Go to the Insert tab and click on Load Family. Go to the Structural Column folder. In this case, we pick the Wide Flange Column family. Next, you will see the Type Catalog window. This family contains a vast choice of pre-made columns dimensions that matches the industry standards. We pick the W200 by 100 type. Click OK to complete. Now let's add this new column type to your project. Select the Structural Column tool. Make sure the newly added type is selected. First, set the Height Placement option. By default, this option is set to Depth. This option is confusing. If you try to create a column, you will probably receive a warning. In the 3D view, you can see that the column was created backward to what you actually wanted. Try again, but this time switch the Height option from Depth to Height. Then select the top level. In this case, we want the column to go all the way to level 2. Click on your plan view to create the column. Select the column and adjust the offsets. In this case, we set an offset of minus 150. There is an additional way to create columns. It is by using the Create Columns at Grids Intersections tool. When creating a column, you can select this option in the Contextual tab. Select all the grids that you want to use in this process. Click the green check to complete. As you see, there is now a column at each selected grid intersection. By default, columns will move with their matching grids. In this example, you can see that the two columns will move as we modify the grid number 3 location. You can turn off this feature if you want. Select the column and uncheck the Moves with Grid parameter in the Instance Properties. If you try to move the grid again, the column will keep its current position. Adjusting Detail Level At the bottom left of each open view, you will find the Detail Level option. This tool is a major effect on the way you see columns. Try to switch the detail level to coarse. If you zoom in on the column, you will see it is now represented only by lines. Try switching to medium. The column is now represented by a pattern. If you switch to fine, you can now see arcs in the column outlines. Let's play again with the detail level, but this time have a look at the 3D view. When using the coarse setting, this column family is completely invisible in the view. Use the medium setting. The column reappears. At the Find setting, the column uses a profile containing arcs. Advanced tip. Create a dark fill pattern for all columns. When creating a conceptual plan view, it can be a good idea to show all the columns with a solid fill. You can create this effect on a specific view. Go to the Visibility Graphics menu in the View tab or by using shortcut VG. Scroll down to Structural Columns. Click to override the cut pattern. Select the dark gray color. Select Solid Fill as the background pattern. Click on OK. As you see in your plan view, all the columns now have a dark gray pattern. Be careful. This technique works with certain column families, but might not work with others. In this example, 
the fill technique doesn't work for a steel column family. You would have to manually adjust the family to get the effect. If you like this video, make sure to check out our brand new Basics 2020 Learning Package. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.